Father, for this morning and for these faithful people who have come to the house of God. May you bless them as we speak the word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So the title of my message is, Are you a fan or are you a follower? Are you a fan or are you a follower? So that's a good question to ask ourselves. I know some people are just checking Jesus out. You're not sure. You're checking the church. You, you're asking the questions. And that's okay. We understand that. So there's no pressure on you to do what I'm going to be preaching to you to do. You can still continue to follow, continue to check it out. And we respect you for your choosing to do whatever you want to do with your life. We respect you. But if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and you call him your God, if Jesus is your Lord, then you must do what the Word of God says because Jesus is the Lord of the Word of God. Then he is the most important person in your life. If you say that, then you ought to do what he's what he tells you to do. Now in every church there are fans and there are followers. How many of you like football? You know, any kind of football, whether it's Europe football or British football, I'm a big fan of football. And I, I stay up at night sometimes to watch my team that I follow and I support. And there's a difference between being a fan and a follower. You see, a fan, when their when the team is winning, they're all excited. But when their team is not winning, they will leave the game even when the game is not over, when the team is down and the other team is winning, they will leave early because they don't want to be caught in the traffic jam. But a follower will sit there until the final whistle and still stay to cheer the team even though the team lost. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Because I know many of you like just like did like, like don't play football, don't watch football, don't do anything. So you may not relate to what I'm saying. So when I'm in England, many of my friends, they are either this supporters or that supporters. And during the weekday when we are free, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the matches in England, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they'll take me to, to the matches. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, people are already out on the streets wearing their hats, wearing their scarves, wearing their jerseys, and they'll be drinking in the pubs, outside the pubs. They'll be cheering and singing and dancing for their team that's going to be playing at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes it will be raining, sometimes it will be snowing, but they don't care. They will sit in the, in the stands and they'll be freezing, but they want to watch the team that they are following. And when the team is losing, even though the team lost, they will cry. But when the team, before the team leaves the field, they'll all stand up and cheer because they are followers and not just fans. <laughs> you know, Jesus didn't come to get fans. Amen. Amen. Jesus didn't come to just get fans to admire him. 
耶稣来，他不是只有这个耶稣名来到去去喜欢他。Jesus came to call followers. 耶稣来是为了有跟随者。If Jesus wanted people to just admire him. 如果耶稣只是要人去羡慕他的话 ，And of course we admire and adore Jesus, we love him. 当然我们是羡慕，我们也敬爱耶稣。But if Jesus just came to be admired and to be adored, 如果耶稣来只是让我们去敬拜、去仰慕的话 ，Then he would not preach the things that he preached. 他肯定不会讲这一些的道。He would preach things that are easy for people to follow. He would preach things that will make you comfortable. He would preach things that will make you comfortable. In fact, he would preach things that are so nice he would not have been crucified. He would preach things that are so nice he would not have been crucified. He would preach things that are so nice he would not have been crucified. He would preach things that are so nice he would not have been crucified. He would preach things that are so nice he would not have been crucified. He would preach things that are so nice he would not have been crucified. He would preach things that are so nice he would not Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get followers. That's why he said, "Follow me." Jesus came to get But the difference between a fan, 那个这这个爱好者他的不同呢 ？And a follower, 还有一个跟随者。Because as long as it benefits the fan, 一旦只要对他自己有利的 ，as long as it is making them happy, 只要对他自己是高兴的 ，yeah, they'll be happy. 他们就高兴了。The moment they are challenged or they are offended, 当他们觉得好像被厌弃的时候，被得罪的时候 ，they leave. Are you a fan or a follower? Yeah, you are one of the this kind of Jesus followers. Not a pastor, Joe. 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 Hillsong Church, Joel Houston, Joel Austin's Church,、uh, C3 Church, every church, there are fans and followers inside. 就是说，在每一个教会里面呢，就是他们都有那一些支持者，还有那一些厌弃者的。When they get offended, 当他们被厌弃的时候 ，they leave. 他们就离开了。So Jesus came. 耶稣来 ，and he offended some people. 他得罪了某一些人。The Bible says in John chapter six, verse sixty-six. Yes, this John Chapter Six, verse sixty-six. Wow, six, six, six. You know, don't play. Don't do six, six, six. Mark of the Beast. John Chapter Six, verse sixty-six. John Chapter Six, verse sixty-six. Jesus said some things, and I'll show you what he said. Uh, Jesus said some things, and I'll show you what he said. Uh, Jesus said some things, and I'll show you what he said. Uh, Jesus said some things, and I'll show you what he said. Uh, Jesus said some things, and I'll show you what he said. Uh, Jesus said some things, and I'll show you what he said. Uh, Jesus said some things, and Of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. From his disciples, they were not with him anymore. 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 Listen, listen carefully to this story in John chapter six. And when you go home, when you're having dinner after makan, before you watch any football or Chinese drama, read John six. Very interesting. 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 In John chapter six, it tells you. In John chapter six, it tells you. There were five thousand men. So not counting women and children, so women and children always more. So about twenty thousand people. 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 So about We've been to that place where we had lunch、uh, by by the sea, and and it's a beautiful hill slope. 
。就是那边是一个非常漂亮的，制造斜坡的地方，那个就是那个加利利海的地方。So we were wondering how can Jesus fit to twenty thousand people without microphone, without all the sound system? 就思想一下，耶稣如何在这么多人、两万人面前没有这些的这些音响设备？ So where I went up here is the restaurant. Down there is the Sea of Galilee, and there's a slope. And when you speak, because of the acoustic, you can hear. 就是我在那边的时候，因为下面是那个斜坡，我在那边中间讲话的时候，下面是可以听到的。啊 ，You be good boys and good girls next time I take you to Israel, okay? 啊，如果你好好的话，我带你去以色列。You like Israel. So he spoke to them, and they stayed there and listened to him for so long until morning till evening. 就说他们耶稣在那边讲了很久，从早上到傍晚的时间。Jesus knew it was getting late, and the people would be hungry. 然后耶稣知道这些人都已经是饥饿又迟了。So he said to his disciples, "Feed them." 所以他就跟门徒说，你来喂养他们吧。He said, "How to feed twenty thousand people?" So, 门徒说，如何喂养呢？是 We don't have that money. We don't have the finances. The shops are closed. No way in the world we can feed twenty thousand people. 我们不可能能够喂养这两万人，因为就是说店已经关了，我们也没有这些的钱去买食物。You know the story. Jesus said, "Okay, ask everybody to sit down in groups. Organize them in groups so there won't be chaos." 就说耶稣就跟他们讲，你把这些全部人安顿好来坐在。Then Jesus asked them, "What do you have?" They asked everywhere. One small boy had five loaves. We think of loaves, we think bread loaves, no small pieces of roti and two fish. That's all the boy had. Then he asked, "Do you have any other loaves?" He said, "I have five loaves and two fish." Jesus said, "Okay." He gave thanks. He broke it, ate, and the miracle that began to happen. Jesus said, "Okay." He gave thanks. He broke it, ate, and the miracle began to flow through the twenty thousand people. Bread popping out everywhere, fish everywhere, cooked. Beautiful fish. 就说因为这个耶稣就注谢了，直到这个的五饼二鱼这个神迹呢，他们都吃得饱了。The people were amazed at this miracle that Jesus did. 那些的人觉得非常的惊讶，对于耶稣所做。I'm sure many people were thinking, "Wow, I tell you, this man can in one afternoon feed twenty thousand. Imagine what he can do for India, for Africa. Imagine if this man was the king." He can do miracles. There'll be no more starvation, poverty problems in the world. 如果思想一下，如果这个人他能够喂养这一些饿两万个饥饿的人呢？他如果在一个国家，他将会没有这一个饥饿的情况的存在。Earlier we heard he went to a wedding party. There was no wine. He turned six big pots of water into wine. Imagine what he can do if he was our king. 如果他是我们的王的话，你看看他的第一个瞬间就是他把那个六个缸的水变成酒。And in verse 15, his the Bible says, and Jesus knew they were going to take him by force to make him king. He departed from them. He went away quietly to a mountain. 就像耶稣知道他们要来来到墙壁他的时候，耶就说耶稣知道众人要来到墙壁他做王，就独自退到山上去了。When he went away, he told the disciples, "Go over to the other side of the river or of the sea." 就是当然，在他过去了之后，他就叫门徒，就说过去海的另外一边。I will come to you. Just go away. The people are trying to make me king. 就说你只是到那边去，因为这些人要赏赐，要我做王。So as the disciples were going in the boat, you read in John chapter six, suddenly a fierce storm came, and the boat was almost crushed. 如果你看约翰福音的话，这个第六章就是说，当他们做这个事情的时候，有这个风暴来到。Jesus came down from the mountain and he walked on the water, on the waves, on the sea. And the moment he got into the boat, the boat reached the other side. 就是说，当耶稣他来到，他看到他们的时候，他来到，他走在行走在这个水面上。And again, people were watching because they came over the other side by the other way, and they saw with many boats that Jesus had come to this place. And they said, "My, this man is a king. He can control the economy. He can control the 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 climate change. He can control. He's the answer." 就是说。耶，众人看到这个情况的时候，他们看到耶稣其实他就是能够控制这个经济的，能够控制这个大环境的。These people were fans. 这些人只不过是耶稣迷罢了。And then they said, "Lord, please teach us how to do these miracles." 然后这些这些迷都跟耶稣讲，你叫我如何做这个事情 ？Come on, do one more miracle for us. We love this show. 
You fed us lunchtime. You gave us a free meal. Now let's have dinner. We want steaks. Uh, we want we want you know real wine. Come on, Lord, you can do it. And they came up to him for another miracle. Jesus said, "You want me to do miracles because you you were hungry and you were fed because you got fed." And then Jesus said something very offensive. Verse fifty-three to verse fifty-six. And Jesus said to them, "Verily I say to you." Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have no life. Wow. Whoever who whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. And he that eats my flesh and drinks my blood dwells in me, and I in him. 就说吃我肉喝我血的人就有永生，在末日我要教他复活。我的肉真是可吃的，我的血真是可喝的。吃我肉喝我血的人藏在我里面，我也藏在他里面。Now, if you read that, if you just read it without understanding what he meant, of course you know what he meant. If you just read that, you think this is mad. This Christianity teaches cannibalism. You know, eat flesh, drink blood. This is crazy, right? If you just read it like that. 如果你只是这样读的话，你还不是一个基督徒，你认为这好像。But of course, verse sixty-one and sixty-three, Jesus says, "It's not flesh; it's not meat and blood. These things I'm talking about are spiritual sense. You need to be a part of me, and I need to be a part of you. You need to be a part of me, and I need to be a part of you. Not just getting my miracles, not just seeing me do these fantastic things." But we need to be connected so deeply if you are going to be a follower of me. If you want to become a follower of Jesus, we need to be connected so deeply if you are going to be a follower of me. If you want to become a follower of Jesus, we need to be connected so deeply if you are going to be a follower of me. If you want to become a follower of Jesus, we need to be connected so deeply if you are going to be a follower of me. This is a hard saying. Sometimes I'm sure preachers will always ask their wife. You know, today my preaching, I've asked my wife this many times. Forty-two years, I sometimes I'll ask her, "Was I too strong today?" So, sometimes I will ask her, "Today, I'm preaching, was I too strong today?" So, sometimes I will ask her, "Today, I'm preaching, was I too strong today?" So, sometimes I will ask her, "Today, I'm preaching, was I too strong today?" So, sometimes I will ask her, "Today, I'm preaching." 我说这个巴斯航接他三个星期来我们当中，他也问他的太太，我我是不是太强太过责备了 ？Verse sixty says, some of them said, "This is a hard saying." 他们在当中有些人听见了，他说这话很难，谁能听呢 ？And so they were offended when Jesus he was talking about not eating his flesh, but becoming a part of him, believing in him, not just for the miracles, not just for the magic show. Not just for protect me, protect my children, bless my business, take care of me here, bless me, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. You know, I want you to be God, but you you stay in the corner. If I get into trouble, come. If I don't get into trouble, stay there. Jesus said, "You cannot use me like that." Jesus said, "You cannot put me in the corner. It's not when you have problems that you ask me to come into your life. You have to be very strong. You have to be in the corner. You have to be in the corner. You have to be in the corner." I don't know whom I'm speaking to today. You stay in the corner, Lord. How can you call him Lord? If I need you, I call you. Otherwise, I live my own life. I party when I like. I eat. I drink. I do whatever I want to do. That's my life. But when I'm in trouble, come. Then you come and help. Jesus said, "You cannot be a part of me, and I cannot be a part of you." 如果你是把耶稣放在外面的话呢，耶稣不能够生活在你的生命里面，耶稣也不能够在你里面。So don't be surprised, Jesus said in in Matthew chapter seven, not in John, but in Matthew seven, he said, "In the last days, many will say, 'Lord, Lord,' and I will say to them, 'I don't know you.'" 就是很多，就是说，就好像在在这个马太福音，它里面讲到了，就是说在第七章呢。
<laughs> Lord, Lord, in your name I cast out demons. In your name I speak in tongues. In your name I went to C3 church. Jesus said, I didn't know you. So God says some things that sometimes will offend us. And the Bible says, and the disciples, it says in verse 60, this is a hard saying, so much so that his disciples were offended with him. So Jesus asked Peter and the disciples in verse 68, he says, guys, are you also going to leave me? He was not afraid that they would leave him. But he will ask you, are you also going to leave me? So are you a follower? Or are you a fan? I want to show you a photo. I hope you got it there, Matt. Okay, just don't show it yet. Don't show it yet. This is a photo. You might think, what is the connection between this photo and this story in, in, in that I'm preaching? Anyway, I love Peter's answer when Jesus asked that question, will you also leave me? Peter said, where could we go? Who can we go to? And I love that kind of commitment. I believe it brings a smile on the face of the Father. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I'm going to say that you answer back, okay? <laughs> I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. Very good. So Peter said, where could we go to? Peter said, All of us will run out of time before we run out of money. All of us will run out of time before we run out of money. I think C3 Clang is trying to run out of money as well <laughs> with our giving all the time. <laughs> your petrol will still be in your car, but you may not be able to drive your car when your time is up. Your money might still be in your main bank account, but you won't take the ATM card to go and get it out if your time is up. So what am I saying to you? You have one life. Don't be a fan. Be a follower. Say, Jesus, whether I get blessed, don't get blessed, tomorrow bad things happen, good th I don't care, I made up my mind, I am a follower of Jesus Christ, and I'm not a fan. Good times, bad times, in between times, doesn't matter. Even if my friends forsake me, I will not let you go. I will follow you. I preach the same message I'm preaching to you today in London and in Inverness in Scotland. I said many people get offended. I was very bold to say that. I said because you got offended, now other people of other religion has come into your country and taken over. Now you must keep quiet. You cannot say anything wrong. They can say you are racist, you are you are you are sexist, you are this, you are that. You are scared now. You have no voice because you got offended and you let other people come and shut your mouth. After the service, some of them came to see me and they cried. They were crying. 
you know, 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 因为我回他们读出这一些的，一些的特别的这一个的啊、uh, 一些的报道。I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it in the Chinese section. You want to hear it? I'll be doing it in the English section because it's too long to translate. Okay. 然后因为这个是要需要很长的翻译。But this is a photo I showed them at the end of the service. 这个照片就是我在最后的时候给他们看。And you might think, what is the connection between this that I'm going to show you and the the message that I shared? 就是说，你会想到这个的照片和我所分享的信息有什么关联呢 ？This photo and the story of this photo is about all of us. We have one chance, and God will give us many blessings and many opportunities. But if we don't know how to use it, we'll lose it. 那这里是讲到这个的照片，可以给我们看到呢。上帝给我们有一次的机会，如果我们不好好运用的话呢，我们将会失去。This photo won the number one Pulitzer Award in the world. This is called the vulture and the little girl. The man who took this photo and received the Pulitzer Award was Kevin Carter, and the world called him a great photographer. 因为这一个的摄影师 Kevin Carter， 他拿到这个照片的时候呢，我们世界人都称他为最伟大的摄影师。This is a photo of a vulture waiting for a starving Sudanese girl to die, and it was taken by Kevin Carter, who won the Pulitzer Prize. 这一个就是他演讲的这个照片，就是这一个的兔舅呢，就是说在观看着这个小女孩。But he just lived a few months to enjoy this supposed achievement. Because later on he got depressed and he committed suicide. 这样这样，他只是他唯有只是很短暂的这几个荣耀的时间，因为之后呢，他患上了沮丧症。He was actually savoring his feet. He was really being celebrated on the major news channels and networks worldwide. 对他所照的这个照片呢，就是说很多的这些新闻台都播放这个的照片。His depression started. When during one of such interviews on a phone-in program, someone phoned and asked this question. So, so, his, his, this kind of depression starts when someone calls him on the phone and asks him this question. The person asks Kevin this question: What happened to the little child? That person asked him: What happened to the little child? That person asked him: What happened to the little child? That person asked him: What happened to the little child? 因为我没有去理会到底之后发生什么事情，因为我要赶一班的飞机。Then the person on the phone replied. 然后另外一边那个打电话的人跟他讲 ，I put it to you, sir. 我要跟你讲 ，that there are two vultures on that day. 在当时有两个的兔鹫 ，one had a camera. 有一个是有这一个的，呃呃，这这这个这个这个的，呃呃呃 ，camera. Camera. Suddenly stop. Who's that? <laughs> One had a camera. His constant thought of that statement led to depression and ultimately his suicide. So as I close today, God has given us many cameras to look at our beautiful world and to enjoy. 上帝给过我们很多的照相机，来来到让我们去享受我们所有的。How we live our life for His glory is up to us. 我们如何的去来到呃呃，就是说活出我们的生命。God has given us businesses, finances, blessing. So it's hard not to be a generous person, especially when it comes to our giving towards all these works. 尤其是当我们就是说继续的能够给出这些奉献的时候，其实是不容易的。We do not put people on a guilt trip to force you financially to support the work. 我们不会就是说把这一个的内疚放在一个人的身上来到支持一个的施工。But one day， 那就可是有一天 ，all of us， 我们所有的人 will stand before God， 
He said, "I gave you." Not only my life, but everything that you had to enjoy. Because I loved you. I gave you my best. I know I offended you. You can, you can. I just said I offended you. So that you will make a commitment. So you can make a commitment. To follow my son who died for you. So you have to follow my son who died for you. But you have chosen to be a fan. 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 But you have chosen So as we close today and as we sing, I've decided to that chorus again. I want to encourage you, challenge you, motivate you to become moving from just being a fan to become a follower of Jesus. You know, life is so short. Life is so short. I ask the leaders in our church、uh, in our leadership day. I said, guys. I said, 弟兄姐妹们 We were planning for 2019 next year. What is our theme? 我们在策划做二零一九年，什么是我们的主题呢 ？We have many new young people coming into our leadership to serve God, and I thank God for them. Beautiful people. 我很感谢主，为了有很多这些年轻人能够进入这一些的领袖。And I said to them, ladies and gentlemen. 我跟他们讲，弟兄姐妹 ，What if? 如果 What if tonight Jesus spoke to you and said, "2019 is the last year we will all have on planet Earth. I'm coming 2020." Who are Jesus? Can we say? Were you there? 就是说，二零一九年将是我们最后一年在这个地上。Let's sing. Num num. 31st December. Tick. Before 2020. So you got one year to serve God. Exactly on the first of January, Jesus. What if he told you that's what's going to happen? What will you do? 就是说，来到就是还没有，就是最后一分钟来到这个二零二零十二月三十一号之前，耶稣就是要我们去做。How will your service, your attitude, your 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 participation in the work of God in this planet? You got one year. God's giving you one year, then bang, He's coming back to rule. How will you live and serve this Jesus, whom you say? Is your Lord? If you want to look at Jesus as your Lord, how will you serve this Lord? Let's stand together. 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 Let's stand